Well, good day viewers. We have a 2011 Dodge Ram 2500 HD, but it's got the gas engine. It's here because the check engine light is on. I think the transmission's in limp mode. So we're going to do a, a scan of this thing and see what kind of control. It's got very low mileage for a 2011, 63,000 kilometers. Display fitted systems and do a code scan. I'll pick up when it gets to the end of this code scan. So it here appears we have some uh, pressure sensor circuit or pressure sensor codes P0869, 0933, 0935 and it's probably going to put the transmission in limp mode. Uh, I don't see any other codes other than TPMS codes which are minor. So I'm going to clear the codes Now I got to do that with the key on, engine off. Turn the heater off. I'm going to clear all the codes and then I'm going to take it for a short road test and see what the transmission does and what codes come back. It's Dodge Day today. Well, arguably Ram Day. That's what SVAR is satellite radio. Okay, 13 controllers, go into the ENT transmission, check for codes, no codes present, cycle the key, start it. So the P0869 came back immediately. So let's see, I haven't even moved the vehicle yet. There's no point going for a road test, it's going to put it in limp mode. Transmission data. So here's the troubleshooter information for that uh, P0869 line pressure high. Uh, PCM continuously monitors actual line pressure. If the actual line pressure reading is greater than 120 psi for three and a half seconds continuously, while the pressure control has at its near its maximum, which should result in minimum line pressure, it will set the DTC. So it's either a 5 volt supply circuit, sensor problem, circuit problem. Now the interesting thing is this doesn't give you actual actual line pressure in the data. I looked through the data list and it doesn't have it. So we're going to do a, a visual inspection of the wiring to the transmission. So the actual line pressure sensor is on the outside of the transmission in the right rear of the trans. This is the uh, 545 RFE because this truck has the 5.7 liter in it. So we're going to lift it up in the air and have a look. So standing underneath this truck, looking at the right rear corner of the transmission, you can see the line pressure sensor behind this heat shield. It's bolted onto the back of the transmission with those two bolts two nuts. need to take that shield off to get at the wiring harness or maybe we can flex it out of the way enough to get at it. Yeah we can do that. Well I don't see anything visually wrong. This truck is remarkably clean underneath. So we'll get a pin out. There's three wires to it so one's five volts, one's ground and one's a signal. We get a pin out for this. I might take the connect shield off of there because it's easier to access it. So the bottom back wire which is supposed to be yellow pink this one looks like white orange is the 5 volt reference. The bottom right wire is the ground and the top green wire green with uh, or white with a green trace looks like the signal wire, but I'll double conf I'll confirm that. So I'm back pinning the white orange wire, which is the 5 volt reference, and it's 5 volts. Now I'm back pinning the ground wire at the sensor, I'm trying to. I'm not making a connection, hang on. There we go. And it's 0 volts. 
now I'm back fitting the signal wire. There we go. 4.48 volts. I believe that should be much lower than that. <laughs> I think a high voltage reading is a high pressure. So there's no open 5 volt reference. So I'm going to disconnect the sensor and check the voltage on that signal wire. I don't know if it's got a pull-up resistor in it or not. So this is the actual sensor signal wire. And it has 5 volts on it. 5 volts on that one. So we're going to ground the signal wire, which is the white green one, to this wire, which is ground, and see if it sets the opposite code. Out the uh, signal wire to the ground wire <coughs> and that should make it set the opposite code. Let's scan it now and see. Confused. I'm a bit confused because the wire colors on this wiring diagram do not match what I have at that sensor. And I've got or I had it jump to ground and it did not set a different code. I have the key on unless it won't set a code unless it's running which is possible. Let's, let's start it and see. As soon as I started it, it set the low pressure code. I bet you if I clear the codes, mind you, it won't let me clear them, but they're running. I'll try. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Yeah, it won't. Well, we're gonna order up a line pressure sensor because I'm 99% sure that's what it needs. So there's one little eight millimeter bolt up top here on that sensor and basically twist it and pull it out, blow around it with some compressed air to make sure there's no sand or anything in there. So that's basically the pressure sensor. Got a new one coming. Just gonna stick that in the hole temporarily. And we'll put the new one in and we're gonna double check the voltage on that signal wire, but I believe it should be low voltage at low pressure. So I got a new OE sensor from the dealer. We're going to put some uh, dielectric grease on the O-rings and put it in. So there's the new sensor installed. I'm back pinning the wire on the top front terminal, which is kind of yellow with a green trace. Key on, reads 0.5 volts was what I expected. it Before it was like 4.7 or something like that. Typically with pressure sensors, a high voltage is a high pressure so obviously without the engine running and transmission pump running we're going to have no pressure in the tranny so we're going to let it down put that shield back on let it down clear the codes and go for a road test so we're going to do in and do a go in and do a network code clear here clear all codes and then i'm going to start it up and check it for codes in the transmission side of the I, think the, I don't think this has a separate tranny computer. It shows up as a separate controller in the list, but I believe it's part of the drivetrain or the engine control module. Usually the network code clear process on these Chrysler products or Rams products are pretty quick. All right, so let's go into the transmission and we're going to fire it up. Of, of that in the troubleshooting information. Down at the bottom of this list there is desired pressure. Where is it? I know I saw it in this list. Maybe it was over here. Line pressure duty cycle. Present gear. 
there it is, desired line pressure, 119. But it doesn't have actual line pressure. It has a line pressure duty cycle, but I don't see the actual line pressure. I'm gonna look around. Well, the transmission is shifting fine, going through all gears. So we'll call this one fixed. Let's scan this thing with the Think Diag app and see if there is actual line pressure as a data parameter. I'm going to start up the app on my smartphone and record the screen. So we're going to try and decode the VIN. It's connected via Bluetooth to the vehicle. I'm using a screen recorder to record the actions here on this thing. So it decoded the VIN, 2011 RAM. Okay. We're going to go into system selection. And like I said, the transmission control is in the PCM powertrain. on this. Let's just make sure there's no fault codes in here. No codes. Go back. Read data stream. So I'm going to do a keyword search for pressure. This is something that snap on. See, actual line pressure is actually here. According to this. Desired line pressure. I didn't see it in there about oil pressure. Is that engine oil pressure? Oil pressure sense of voltage. Okay, let's see what we got. Actual line pressure 66 PSI. Desired line pressure 66 PSI. Perhaps I'm going to put in reverse. Yeah, the oil pressure is engine oil pressure, I'm sure. Yeah. Line pressure duty cycle RFE. So the data parameter is available, Snap On. Thanks for not uh, including it in our data list. I'm not sure if I missed it. I looked through the other data lists. Another thing we really need, Snap On, is a uh, keyword search for the data parameters. There's just too damn many data parameters in the data list. Should be able to do a keyword search. So we can graph this, combine desired and actual, OK. So they should be one line over top of the other. Wow, that's pretty cool. This is a pretty impressive little smartphone-based scan tool, I'll tell you. I haven't found anything else more capable than this. So I'm hitting back, OK, no, back, 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 back. And then there's actuation tests, system tests. So I'm going to go into system tests and see what's available here. Yeah, first gear, second gear, third gear, electric vacuum pump, injector kill. Well, that's it. It appeased my curiosity. The data parameter is there. Just either I couldn't find it on the Snap-on Scan tool or Snap-on missed it. Thanks for watching.